demo, I'm going to show you how to take a, a vector and make it into a CSV and actually create it, the code that creates the CSV. So the first thing you want to do is open up your vector and make sure that it's um, as simplified as possible. You can see that this is only two shapes because it's um, that's all that's needed. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to Document Setup and we want to edit our artboard. And you're going to zoom out to the full length of your artboard, and usually it's much bigger than what you need. And we're going to make this artboard like as small as we could. A lot of times you can make it even touch. Just don't make, make sure it doesn't overlap. You can also make it so it just goes a little bit outside of it, and that's always a safe way of doing it as well. And you'll get the same result. So we get that. We have our artboard. And now we're going to go to File and Save As. And we get our big Save As. I don't care where I'm saving this because we're not actually going to save it. We just go to the Format, CSV. We're going to hit Save. And this option appears. And we can checkbox anything we want. Um, but I'll show you what it is with all these things checked by default. You can open up the CSV code. You can see there's a bunch of code right here. A lot of this stuff is really not needed, especially when you're you're coding this. Like all of this is just extra junk. So what I like to do is I like to just simply unselect all of these, hit SVG code, and just copy and paste this right here. So this is actually a text document. You can see that this is your um, HTML that you can paste right into your um, uh, actual HTML for your website. Uh, you can also play with some of these. You can see that uh, there's um, definitely some code in here that you could you can uh, play with. The path, you can always put like an ID onto it. Um, so like path two, and then that would be like path one. Uh, and that way you can select it with uh, CSS or even JavaScript to create animations. Also, this right here, the XML space preserve, if you um, get rid of it, um, it's actually kind of nice because um, then you don't have to worry about ratios. And then you can Google about different ways you could um, play with some of the, the settings and attributes um, using these SVGs as well. And... Uh, yeah, that concludes this tutorial. Uh, have a good day. Bye.